Hello grade tens. Today I am looking at task twelve. In the textbook it is on page fifty-five. In your workbook it is on page sixty-seven. In the given information it shows the three views of a shape block in third angle orthographic projection and we need to convert that to an isometric drawing. Let's remember the positioning of our shape here. We have the front view is our most important view. The top view will be on the top and the left view is on the left hand side. So just as far as the orientation of your drawing is concerned, they want this point A as your lowest point and this will obviously be on the left hand side. As before, I would like to just do a little sketch on a isometric grid that I've got just to get an idea of what your shape is going to look like before you get started. I want to start with an idea of this corner being my isometric axis. My overall length dimension is a distance of 100. So I need to mark off that distance. and try and get that shape so it's starting at this corner of A and I've then got my height of 50 up I'm going across a distance of 15 then there's my tunnel A distance of 30 down a distance of 15 on the other side at the top here I've got a similar thing happening here so I'm a distance across 15 this part though goes down 25 Across my distance of 30, now on this edge we've got this little part that's extending here, so this line is not correct here, so I had a height of 15, extending 20, there's my 15 down, so this line shouldn't be there, so that gives me that front view edge, and now we would project these measurements back so for the left view we're going back 65 so a distance of 65 now on this side we've got to go back to this little corner that we've got here so It's a distance of 20. So from my corner there. There's my distance of 20. Comes out
and they have got what was shaped with the plant. I've now started with my isometric axis and I want to start marking off my length and my height dimensions for the front view. I've marked off the distances that I need and I'm now going to project them. There is the outline of what I need for the front view and you can now go over that in a dark line. And there you have your front view. Now let's take our measurements back. So I'm going to project from my corners here. There I've projected my corners back and now I want to mark off my width dimensions. My overall dimension was 65. And any other measurements that you would need. There I have all my points projected and I've got the outline of the shape that I need so I'm going to now go over those in my permanent lines. Remember to try and use all the lines going in one direction before changing to a T-square. There is the completed view of task 12 on page 67 of your workbooks.